Macon Water Authority added a new storm water fee to its bills this year, and this shocked some customers when they saw their January bill. Monday, we told you about a Macon pastor who said some churches won't be able to pay that fee. Today, Camila Williams spoke with a business owner who says he just wants some answers about that costly bill. I just don't feel like it's fair. Frustrated and surprised was Jim Davis's reaction when he calculated the cost of this new water bill. I don't think the people of Macon and Bibb County have sat down and thought about this. Davis got this letter from the Macon Water Authority in November. It says starting January 1st, property owners whose land contribute more storm runoff will pay more than others. It means bigger bills for companies with parking lots or large properties. Executive Director Joey Leverett says that the money will be used to help Bibb County prevent flooding. The fee is not just maintaining pipes. We have a levy system here in Macon. Most people aren't aware of that. We also do you know, quality water quality monitoring. And a huge part of the fee goes for street sweeping. Jim Davis received this letter in the mail from the Macon Water Authorities to start paying $480 a month to cover his five acres of land. That's almost $6,000 a year. There may, needs to be transparency. Now the authority is working with the local agency to provide some relief. The Macon Bibb County Economic Opportunity Council is helping low income households with their water bill starting February 4th. Call or go online and, res and reserve a slot for this assistance, and they can receive up to two to three hundred dollars on their water bill. But all Davis wants is some clarity about his bill. There needs to be a lot of questions answered. Looks to me, though. In Macon, Camille Williams, 13 WMAZ News. And Joey Lever said those who are confused about the new stormwater fee should come to a town hall meeting. It's Tuesday, February 8th at 5 p.m. at St. Peter's Missionary Baptist Church on Fort Hill Street.